How are you? Thank you so much for showing up today. Welcome. You've landed on Kai TV, your home for the healthiest, the wealthiest, and the happiest information. Just for you. I'm Carrie Ann Ingram, your host. So today on our segment, we're going to discuss how to find the best love to have the best relationship you've ever had in your life. How are we going to do that? That's the question. Tune in. So how are we going to do that? How are we going to find the best type of love to give us the most balanced, loving, and incredible relationships we've ever had in our lives? Most of us are on a quest. We're trying to find that perfect love. We're trying to find that relationship that complements us that relationship that allows us to feel like we are a part of the other human like they are physically attached to us like they are our right arm our left arm something along that line that we understand them from an innate soul place we can communicate with them psychically we're just so in tuned and we are just in such a deep and perfect alignment with this being. They get us, we get them, we speak the same language, you know, everything along that line we want in a relationship. And we ultimately, our goal as humans is to dynamically coexist with another human being in that tight knit relationship. So if this is a part of who we are if we all yearn for this in some shape in some way form or the other why is it or why does it seem so hard for us to attain this why are relationships seemingly so difficult well the answer is relationships are difficult because we simply make them difficult simple that's it that's the answer right there we are struggling or sometimes we struggle in relationship because we make them difficult how do we make them difficult we make them difficult by imposing our structured personal beliefs and expectations on another human we want them to show up how we want them to show up how we expect them to show up not how and who they are as humans we don't accept them as they are, right? We have an idea that is more often than not constructed by media. So we have created the ideal relationship based on a Harlequin romance or based on a rom-com or based on, you know, um, some sort of romantic flick. Reality? Ah, no, not reality. Reality is, Life happens, you know, situations happen. People have passed, people go through struggles that have somehow shaped who they are and who they become, right? So how we can have the best relationship and the best loves of our life is to first work on the person that we are. So if you've gone through crap, and I believe 90% of our society have gone through something really tough in their lives that they've had to overcome in some way, shape, or form. That is still embedded, though that pain, that difficult situation is still embedded in their cellular memory. So whenever we're faced with a situation, most often in relationships, that triggers that memory of that hideous or horrible situation we revert back to that person or we regurgitate our reaction to that situation or the current situation right because we it's 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 a memory it's a memory that is buried but it's still there it hasn't been worked out fully so when we bury things they tend to surface right so it's like when we take an object a dense object and drop it into let's say water it goes in but if it has some sort of buoyancy it then resurfaces to the top right and that's what our emotions our buried emotions are like we drop them 
Sometimes we even lift the proverbial rug and sweep that thing under in hopes that once we cover it over, it's gone. It doesn't go away. It's always there. If you see something or someone that triggers a memory and you feel anger in your pit of your gut, that means that you didn't deal with the situation. It's gonna come back again. So my advice is you must deal with whatever issues, disappointment, sadness, hurt, pain, whatever it is that you've gone through in your past, you have to face it face on, face forward, you know, right on target. You have to turn it around and look at it face on and face it. Even though it's super unpleasant, it's super uncomfortable, you have to figure out how to deal with it and accept that it happened and it's gone. Within that situation, learn. Every horrible situation has a beautiful lesson embedded in it. Every situation. And these lessons are to help us grow. Nothing in our lives happens to us. They happen for us right to elevate us to bring us forward and to make us into strong human beings so that we can ultimately lead a great life and teach others through our experience so they can also lead a great life so in order for you to have a great relationship the best relationship ever and the best love ever you got to take the pressure off yourself you have to face your ish deal with it Figure out what the lessons are that are in it. Be grateful for the lessons. Thank the person, thing, situation, whatever it is that caused you pain and move forward. And whenever any residual from that pain resurfaces, step back and then look at the situation and see within it where you have evolved, how you have grown into this beautiful and awesome human being that you are, right? And once you do this, you can then allow your heart chakra to open so that you can invite within your space the ideal person that you want in your life and accept them with all their past stuff into your life and they will be as an equal right you won't put them on a pedestal because they seem to be further evolved than you are but instead, you will see them as your equal, your spiritual equal, and you both will understand and know how to grow together, right? And extend your life here on earth and learn how to live in harmony and also understand and know how to manage these unpleasant situations that will arise. They will arise because throughout our lifetime, we're constantly growing and learning, right? and things will pop up, triggers will be ignited. But it's how we learn to deal with them that's the benefit, that's the, the stronghold that we have in our life. So that's my little tip for the day, my little insight on relationships, how you can have the best and most loving relationship. First, it starts with yourself, realizing your stuff, loving and accepting yourself for who you are and what you've gone through so that you can do the same for another human being who shows up in your life right not judging them because true love doesn't judge we don't judge each other we don't judge each other okay all right thank you so much for showing up i'm gonna be peacing out peace 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 um I wish you nothing but health, wealth, and happiness. And I want you to know that you are an extremely gifted, beautiful, and bright light. And you were sent here to do good work. You were sent here to light up the lives of others. So go out there today, tomorrow, and every day, and be that beacon of love and light into someone's life today, right? Do it, go do it. Be challenged today, tomorrow, and every day be that hope be that inspiration that you're meant to be and i'll catch you soon see you in two weeks love bye subscribe